Okay. Okay. So we only have a few minutes, like literally a few minutes. So this is going to be the beginning of a conversation for you. In a nutshell, the power of purpose helps people start profitable nonprofits. It's, it's really, you know, we don't want people having this poverty mindset that it's a hobby. Um, we look for ways to get people going with a strong foundation, all the right steps in place, um, find their funding, um, and, and really get things going. Sherry Watson, um, who founded the business, she's semi-retired now. She only works with the, she's the top level coach. And um, I don't mind telling you, I would never do this on a sales call normally, but you told me what you pay for courses. Um, her, to, to work with Sherry is 25 grand. That's our top level product. Okay. Under that is um, really our mid-level product was we just, we just lost one of our major coaches. So our focus right now is on the real estate, um, the real estate donation project. So teaching people that as nonprofits, they can accept real estate donations, how the, how that deal is structured and put together, who to talk to networking with real estate agents, um, giving them marketing materials, templates, having them reach out and attract donations. Okay. All that quite frankly is beneath you from what you said your experience is, but it may not be beneath the people that you're trying to help. Okay. Um, we are a company that joint ventures with other companies. Um, and while you're speaking, I'm thinking of several conversations I've had in the past couple of weeks with people who have similar visions and, and um, you know, everything from, uh, you, you talked about, you know, training people, the, the free freemium. So you're putting your education out there to find the right people to do your project. We've got a lot of good people, some really high level people that have worked with um, people with big wallets and, and people who have affected legislation and such. Um, they're the kind of people I talk to. So our organization right now is not a major networker of people like you, but that's the direction I'd like to take it. Um, I'm, uh, I'm really kind of going out on a limb right now, just to be honest with you, so we have another conversation. My bombshell this morning is my director in this business is, is stepping away and I get to step in with the family business and basically tell them, look, if I'm staying on, this is the way it needs to run. Um, because I'm very entrepreneurial minded. I'm really focused on uh, fulfillment, integrity. Um, you know, I'm not just sales, sales, sales. Um, this organization was built, uh, Sherry's, Sherry's thing was to start, help start 10,000 nonprofits with people who want to change the world. So we have all types, all different industries. You know, we don't always, um, we don't really partner with other people's callings. Your calling is your calling, but we do network and, um, you know, help take people to the next step. So your two biggest resources in our company are going to be Sherry Watson herself, who has worked with the American Disabilities um, Act. She worked with Jim Brady. She, she was a traumatic brain injury case many, many years ago and overcame amazing challenges. Um, she's already had six profitable businesses. Uh, three of those have been nonprofits. Um, she's really what we call our chief inspiration officer at this point, because she's, she's more interested like you and our grandkids, um, than she is the business aspects, but she's incredibly resourceful. When you hear the stories of, um, of the deals she's put together and the people she's helped get started, it's, it's really, um, inspiring. And I, I'm looking at the clock here thinking I got to wrap it up. Her son, Derek is heading up the real estate side of the business, which has become our major focus. He's an understudy of Chase Magnuson. So um, that's centered around um, getting those deals done to where people who donate properties, they get their tax write off, you know, up to full market value, you know, minus any cash they wanted out of it. However, that deal is structured. Um, but they help get those deals across the line for our people who are trying to fund their nonprofits. So Derek's existence in Power of Purpose is solely around helping nonprofits fund their missions through real estate. 
And right now we are focusing on the smaller commercial and the residential, but there's no reason if you guys get your heads together and think how multi-property could come into this, um, you know, I'm sure you'll find a way to work together if you, if you wanted to. But uh, I think par part of what interests me the most is all the, um, you were talking about all the advantages that a nonprofit gives you. It does give you credibility. It does open up a lot of gift money. Cause marketing is huge right now. You know, you said crowdfunding, but I'm thinking why crowdfund when there's so many donations? You know, it's more about marketing and getting people's attention uh, to your cause and what your cause is so that, you know, people that have money and have access and have properties and they want to get rid of a non-performing asset, they can say, sure, here, you know, and then it's not, it's not a, meth, uh, a matter of having to have a crowdfund. You're just dealing with a donation. So that is most of what I wanted to tell you. Our, our entire online education, we've got the basics of how to start your nonprofit. We have a grants course. Uh, we have business uh, like, um, I'm sorry, I'm just blanking out. Business mastery courses that have to deal with working within your passion. A lot of relationship building models of how to do a successful nonprofit. Our online courses, the lowest one is 297 bucks. That's the basics of, you know, how to build, get your nonprofit started with firm foundation, all the checklists and templates and all that. Um, and then we package, we throw the whole ball of wax, all of our courses together for $1,000. It's like buying a nonprofit library. That's something you'd probably want to ha have on hand just so you can browse through it. Um, and it, it's a huge resource for getting other people started in similar ventures. Um, so that's basically it in a nutshell. You got seven minutes till your next appointment, but we are online education. We're live events. We are um, coaching, uh, but quite frankly, the level that you are at that will benefit you the most from what you told me is obviously the coaching directly with Sherry. And that of course is gonna give you access to everything we have um, you don't have to pay for anything else we do. Um, and I definitely want to put you in touch with Derek so that you guys can put your heads together and figure out the best way to JV. Sounds like, uh, another call is, uh, going to be necessary. I think so. Okay. Fantastic. So if, if you want another call, um, I would definitely, I'm going to be having a conversation with Derek probably over the weekend here and, uh, you know, let me know what works for you and we'll get the three of us on a conversation. Sounds great. Um, just, uh, I think you've got all my contact information. Uh, if, uh, if not, I can send it to you again on a DM in LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, um, that, uh, you know, you can reach, reach me through that, uh, method or, uh, you know, uh, through any of my other connections, whether it's email or, or, uh, a text. And uh, we'll coordinate calendars and uh, get back together. Let me just um, pull up your record and make sure the information I got is all good. I think I have a lot. I've got uh, your phone number ending in 0105. Is that a cell? Yeah. And uh, jimdiggs at gmail.com. That's about all I need. Sounds great. Um, I might text you and ask you for, um, you know, a website or whatever it is you're developing, so uh, so that they can take a look at it. Yeah, we're in the very early stages of of starting to put together uh, the website, but mm -hmm. it's just simply gobnetwork.com. Gobnetwork.com. What's gob stand for? Uh, get on board. Nice. Or girls on board. But that's another story. Um, there's we have a lot actually, of other stories. There's actually an origin story for the name, and uh, it, it would take another 15 minutes to explain. But uh, we're we're appropriating a certain culture. Nice. And and we're gonna uh, hopefully break down some doors and take over the club. Nice. Well, refreshing, informative, and I uh, appreciate your time. And I look forward to our next conversation. Oh. All right, Christian, thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day. And I really enjoyed the conversation. Look forward to the next one. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.